Welcome to Nicholas 11x12. Today I'm once again taking a look at another GTX 970 graphics card, since I need this one one more time to rerun certain benchmarks and games. However, today I'm looking at the MSI GeForce GTX 970 for GD5OC. This one, as the name already suggests, comes with 4GB of GDDR5 memory, but we all know by now, effectively we're getting just 3.5GB of usable VRAM here. The prices of these GPUs have dropped by now, currently this one by MSI side comes in at roughly 320 to 340 US dollars. A huge thank you goes out to my true subscriber and supporter Robio LU for being so kind and lending me his graphics card for my tests. He has also included the accessories. I'm not sure if that's really all that MSI included, but I assume so. The graphics card itself, a quick user's guide, and the driver CD. The MSI GTX 970 sports the powerful GM204 GPU by NVIDIA, is equipped with a total of 4GB of GDDR5 video memory, but we all know only 3.5GB are effectively usable at that higher bandwidth of 256 bits. The base clock is at 1076MHz, the boost at 1216MHz, and the memory is clocked at 1753MHz, 7010MHz effectively. We're talking of a TDP of about 100 145 watts, and that of course is a GPU based on the 28 nanometer process. DirectX 12, OpenGL 4.5, OpenCL 1.2, as well as Shader Model 5.0 are all among the supported APIs here. The interface, PCI Express 3.0. The very first impression aesthetically of this MSI GTX 970 is not that bad. Sure, there certainly are a bit better looking ones out there, even by MSI themselves, but this one obviously is based on Nvidia's reference card design with a blower style axle fan. That kind of design is ideal for small form factor systems with limited airflow since no warm air is blown out into the case at all. The graphics card's axle fan draws in fresh air here in the front and blows it out on its rear, directly out of the PC case. The brown PCB is no black one, but at least it's kept somewhat darker than blue for instance, but black still would have looked much better in my opinion. To power this card up, two PCIe 6-pin power connectors are required. The GTX 970 does support SLI, in fact up to 4-way SLI. As for outputs, we get one DVI, three DisplayPort outputs and a single HDMI output. Although the outer shell of this card is entirely out of plastic, there's lots of aluminum on the inside for cooling purposes, which makes this GPU weigh 890 grams. As for length, it measures 26.9 centimeters. So not exactly short, but nonetheless it should fit into most cases these days. But now let's go ahead and run some benchmarks. First we'll be running some 1080p benchmarks, and then right after 2160p 4K ones.
The MSI GTX 970 4GD5OC is a very impressive graphics card. One might underestimate it by its looks, but it definitely knows to deliver excellent performance and a good balance between cooling and noise output. The full HD 1080p benchmarks clearly show Nvidia has improved GPU performance remarkably, with the GTX 970 beating even the GTX 780 of the previous generation, not to speak of the GTX 770. For 1080p gaming, even at maxed out settings, the GTX 970 seems to be the ideal graphics card on the market right now. 4K is a bit of a different story though, as we'd all expect however. Handling gaming at 2160p, also known as 4K, at that height of the screen resolution and at fairly high graphics settings in-game is not easily managed by that GPU. The GTX 970 is practically choking there, but to its defense, so is almost every other GPU in 2016 for now. But of course we don't have to play at these high settings to enjoy 4K beauty. 4K therefore is an option with this card, but not a recommended one. The amount of VRAM games used these days is crazy. With 3 or 4 gigabytes, you're not getting that far anymore once we start cranking up some settings in game. The temperatures are not top notch, as I've expected with a such near reference design cooler, but 80 to 85 degrees Celsius isn't that bad, I'd say. Of course, don't expect to squeeze out crazy overclocks out of this card unless you go for a different cooler altogether. But the balance between cooling performance and noise output output is very good. Despite temperatures being in the 80s on full load, the fan doesn't really get loud. At least I don't count that to being loud. It sure is audible, but neither the temperatures nor the noise level of this MSI GTX 970 are to be considered critical, not even close. There's only one word I can say to describe the power consumption. Amazing. The GTX 970 is a very efficient GPU. With the current price being at about $330, in my opinion the price performance ratio is very good. A little more VRAM would have been nice for today's standards, but all in all a very decent GPU. Sure for now I haven't had all that many graphics cards to compare this GTX 970 with, especially popular and good ones of AMD's lineup are missing such as the R9390X and Fury, but nonetheless Nvidia's GTX 970 remains to be a solid choice. There sure are better GTX 970 models out there, but if you want to pay a bit less, the MSI GeForce GTX 970 4GD5 OC is a very good choice. I can definitely recommend it and it's getting my silver award. Once again, big thanks to Rabio LU for lending me his graphics card for testing purposes. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.